Hello everyone. Welcome to Happy Fox University. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create asset custom fields within your Happy Fox account. As you are aware, Happy Fox has a very powerful asset management module. And to access that module, you have to come to the module switcher and go to assets. Now, with any other property uh, in Happy Fox, everything is uh, controlled through roles and permissions. So you will be able to access the asset module or to be able to modify or uh, you know change the properties within the asset module, you need to have the right role permissions associated to your agent login. Now that you want to, uh, you know, uh, use the asset module and store specific custom information about your assets within your Happy Fox asset library, you can use asset custom fields. So within the asset module, come to the asset fields option. And this is where you will be able to add edit or remove any custom field uh, you have created within your asset library. So let me give you some examples on the kind of, uh, you know, custom fields or where you can use this module. So you can have uh, fields like vendor name, whoever is your, you know, device supplier, their address, warranty date for that uh, device when it is expiring, uh, you can have a field to track whether the warranty is active or inactive. You know, what was the purchase date for the, uh, you know, the asset. So things like that, whatever uh, sort of custom information you want to track about an asset within your asset library, you can create and save those values within your asset custom fields. So now, the default uh, fields within Happy Fox are just uh, the name and the display ID for the asset module. Rest of the field in my example right now, you can see asset type, asset property are the asset custom fields. Now to create a uh, asset field, you have to uh, click on asset fields, uh, uh, you know, section within uh, the asset module. And then click the plus sign here on the asset field area. And this is where you can uh, go ahead and create your asset custom fields. So let's get started and I'll create a field called purchase date. And you can create various kind of custom fields, uh, asset custom fields within your uh, Happy Fox account. So you can have a text type field, which could be for, uh, you know, limited number of characters for a smaller description or something like that. Or you can have a text areas type of field, which can contain and hold larger uh, description, maybe the address, maybe a lot of properties of the asset, like, uh, you know, their OS and uh, network ID, things like that, whatever you want to store. Then you can have a number type field, which could be some sort of serial number or or, uh, you know, some unique identifier if you have things like that. And then, uh, you know, you can have fields like drop down options where uh, you can say whether warranty is in uh, life or in, uh, you know, active or inactive, things of that nature you can build here. So I'm going to create a new custom field called purchase date and it is a date type of a field and whether this field is required to be filled when you are, uh, you know, importing or adding new assets within your uh, asset library, you can decide whether it is a required or not required field. And then if you want to give some, uh, you know, guidance uh, to the agents when they are reviewing this asset, what to make out of this asset field, you can uh, leave some help text as well for your agents when they are reviewing that asset, uh, they can understand what uh, is the value defined in this field. And you can go ahead and create this field. Now, once you have created this field, when you come to your asset uh, list of assets, you will be able to sort of edit an asset and add a custom field on that asset. So you can easily sort of, uh, you know, go to a specific date and say, okay, when with was this purchased and things like that. And you can save that value on the asset.
Now, once you have asset fields defined here, if you want to have uh, these fields displayed to the agents when they are, uh, you know, searching for an asset or reviewing an asset detail, uh, you can decide what order should these fields will need to appear on that uh, form. So you can say, I want to see the purchase date, uh, you know, right on top when I'm seeing that asset and I can, you know, update this order. And now once I have uh, the field order updated, whenever I come to a ticket, for example, and I have to sort of uh, see uh, that if this ticket has an asset or something like that, then I can easily sort of see the field display order when I'm reading about that asset on the ticket. So it's in the same order in which I had uh, saved it. Right now, this uh, asset doesn't have uh, that field uh, populated, so I can go to the asset and update uh, the asset field to be, uh, you know, any value I want and save it. So now that information will be available on in my asset library. So uh, these are uh, some of the uh, simple steps you can follow to sort of uh, build uh, custom fields to store uh, very specific information about your assets within your help desk asset library. You can always uh, sort of, uh, you know, delete an asset field which you have created. So you can come to the field and if you uh, had a typo error, so you can always edit the field name or things like that and uh, sort of, uh, you know, rename it or change the description. Once you have created an asset field, you cannot modify the type of that field. So, uh, you know, that is something you have to be very uh, sure of when you are creating uh, the asset uh, field. Uh, but if you have to edit the name or if there was a typo error or something like that, you can always edit it. Then I can always uh, add it uh, at asset custom field. Awesome. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for uh, watching this video. I hope uh, it uh, added some value. For any further questions or if you want to review any other module within Happy Fox, please visit Happy Fox uh, University within your account and go through all these uh, videos uh, which are there uh, to walk you through certain modules. And you can always reach out to the support knowledge base and chat with our live chat agent to get uh, some quick help. Thank you so much.